When you arrive at Kinnick Stadium, you know what's in store. Hard nose, toughness, defense, and you better bring your hat and be ready to strike somebody when you come into this black and gold cauldron to take on the Hawkeyes. There's nothing quite like a great rivalry matchup in college football. The bitterness, the intensity, the lifetime of memories that will come as a result of what we're about to see in this one. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Nebraska Cornhuskers, taking on another team from the Big Ten, the Iowa Hawkeyes. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. And the Hawkeyes will kick it away to start. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Cornhuskers offense will take the first swing of the game. There are always butterflies to start a game, but when you have a rivalry like this, the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive, guys. They aren't all the same. We say that, but we know differently. The blood is boiling, the temperature is hot. Jesse, you want this week more than most. Yeah, and David, we played in these games before. Everything just seems to be heightened, right? The game seems to be moving faster. The crowd noise feels louder. Your composure will be tested early in a game like this. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. They'll give it to Johnson. Running hard and getting six yards out to the 26. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting what was blocked, getting a nice positive game, making your situation really good on the next game. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. It's complete. And he'll get it up to the 38. It'll be a first down. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. The Huskers come to the line with a new set of downs. Running behind that left side. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Well, it's plays like that that will help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. Give to the running back. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. When you're called Corn Huskers, you're like a big red thrashing machine, and you're going to get it done on the ground. Just going to chew up the ground yards. Just going to eat you up, play physical, be different. And that's what Nebraska fans want. Throw back to the old days, the glory days, and they want some of that here in this recent history. Give to the back. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name and you know their face. You know them well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much. All throughout the year, all the fans talking about this game in particular, that's why it means more, and that's why these players will be jacked out of their minds. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one, and listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays, but he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent, just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. Wide open downfield. He knew exactly where he wanted to go with that one, and they've got enough for the first down. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. Trying to find his man on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Banks. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Well, the offense is trying to get a big-time playmaker the ball out in space quickly with the wide receiver screen, but the defense is having none of it. 
this crowd full throat spreading the eardrums and letting them know it's going to be a long day. Worked it down to the 22-yard line, give him five on the carry. I know the passing game sells, and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards a pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Third and short from the 22. Is the field goal unit getting ready, or is this already four down territory? Quick completion on the out. He steps out of bounds, but he's got a first down on the play. Throw him to the spot, and that's exactly what he did to pick up the first down. And that's so many hours of doing this together. You know exactly when he's going to break on that out route. You know what kind of speed he has because you've thrown it so many times. Nice rhythm and timing. And you could tell that was experience between receiver and quarterback. He's got it on the run. That completion will take it close to the five-yard line. They'll mark it at the six. Well, these wide receivers work the middle of the field. So much of this is feel. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays over the middle. Trying the left side. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-game land. How about the defender being a heat-seeking Missile. He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Wants to throw on third down. Reels it in, in the end zone. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game and get himself established. You make a couple throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point makes it 7-0. That is what they mean when they say ball control. A 14-play touchdown drive. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16. So Iowa's offense has its first opportunity of the day. And it won't be easy to throw the ball down the field today, David, because both of these teams have locked down corners. I mean, these guys shut down half of the field. Playmaking cornerbacks that really can play man-to-man -man and lock down the best guys on the other side. Yeah, if I'm a quarterback in this game, I am taking a calculated risk if I'm thrown towards one of these two dudes because you're just asking to get picked off. This offense has a second down play. Trying play action. Quickly to the tight end. The Hawkeyes will move the sticks with the first down. You know, sometimes when you're throwing against zone coverage, you need time for the routes to develop. So nice job by the quarterback there, being patient, allowing his receivers to work themselves over. Setting up for a first and 10 from the 26. Out of the gun, the give to the back. Defense in the right spot. They stop him after a gain of two to the 28. They have relished this tight victory since the last time these two got together, Pollock. Nah, it's just winning is beautiful. And when you beat your rival and you get those bragging rights, Palmer, it is a glorious thing for a whole year and sometimes longer. Well, that's the best thing about rivalry games like this. For the winning team, whoever pulls this one out here today, their fans are going to be bragging about this one for a long time. Yeah, and sometimes the coverage is just great. And as a quarterback, you throw the football away or don't try to force it too tight into a window. And you just say, hey, defense won that rep. Good coverage. They've made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. Looking downfield, it's McNamara. Feeling some heat. 
just threw that one away to avoid disaster. And offensively, we know it's hard throwing the ball in the third and long situations because the defense can play big zone coverages. They got a lot of guys with their eyes on you. So the QB had no shot there. Nobody open. Nice job not forcing it, not risking a turnover, just throwing it away. And the Hawkeyes line up to punt it away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Not able to pop the big return, but they've got the ball back and ready to go with a fresh possession. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Yeah, and you're going to see this offense find different ways to get this running back involved. It's not just going to be on handoffs, and they're certainly going to line them up in different places and even throw them the football. But the screen game's a big part of it, too. We'll try to get them going there. They make the stop, but this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. And then coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to some way, somehow, at least establish a semblance of a running game for exactly what you just said. You've got to be able to use play-action pass later in this game to get some explosive plays down the field. And it's a play like that that we just saw which can help them get that going. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking for a crease to the left. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And those physical runs take a toll. It might not be a big game now, but down the road, third, fourth quarter, late in the ball games, they tend to turn into bigger runs. Some third down conversions tougher than others. This one, a long one on third down from the 43. To the air, it's Rayola. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. Third and long situations are really hard to convert. The defense knows it's going to be passed. The pass rushers are getting upfield. You're under pressure. You don't have timing. And as a result now, fourth down. And the Huskers will line up to punt it away. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. They hope to be able to cash in on this drive, David, after having to punt it last time. Yeah, and I think this offense needs to start it with the first play. You need to be successful and productive on that first play, and it gets you into less predictable situations. No doubt, too. Don't you just feel like there's a little bit more sense of urgency on this drive? It just feels like they've got to be able to put some points up on the board here. Solid pick up a four on first down. It's second and six. And the timing just a hair off. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. From the gun, wants to pass. Makes the grab on the left. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Hard work pays off, guys. These offenses work so hard week in, week out, working on those critical down distances. Third downs, having that conversion this early in the game, that's got to feel good for this offense. The Hawkeyes getting set on first and ten. To the ground with the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Dropping back, it's McNamara. 
And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. That's a bad sign for the offense. You're trying to throw screen passes to try to negate the pass rush from the defense. That time, the pass rush even got home on a screen pass. And whatever they did on first and second down, don't do that anymore. Third and very long coming up. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Fires one high and deep. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. You don't get a lot of chances like that in games, guys. Take shots downfield, and when you get open, you got to finish the play, and the wideout's going to wish he had that one back. And the Hawkeyes will try to pin them back with the punt. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He only needs a sliver of daylight. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Rides to the back. And after the stop, that is going to put a bow on this first quarter. It's the end of the first quarter and now time for one of the great traditions in college football when the entire crowd here in Iowa City will turn and give a wave to the children at the University of Iowa, Stead Family Children's Hospital. Everyone engage and we wave and salute those kids and wish them all the best. Always a treat to be here in Iowa and take part in a special moment. Hope these kids enjoy the rest of the game as we play on into the second quarter. Makes the grab down the middle. And they stop him just short of the stick. It'll bring up a decision on fourth down. Ooh, and that's a nice sigh of relief for the defense too, right? There was a broken tackle and the guy made it look like he was going to pick up the first, but because of great effort defensively, they were able to get the stop and now they're setting up fourth down. On fourth down, he'll try to toss it. It's incomplete, and they'll turn it over on downs. Offense getting set for first down. They're going to run it to the right. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves them with second and short. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. After the nine-yard pickup on first down, here's second and one. Now the play fake. Oh, he wants it all. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge gain if he could have squeezed it. Hey, listen, the quarterback didn't get the completion on that throw, but that doesn't mean you can't try again. Trust in your playmakers outside to push the field and stretch it vertically and make a play for you. It won't surprise me to see this QB take more shots as this game goes on. Quickly out to the tight end. They convert on third down as he gets it to the 46-yard line. Shotgun fundamentals are so key. He was like a shortstop. Caught the shotgun snap and right away rifled it out of his hands like he was turning too. That was beautiful. Now it's first and 10 from the 46-yard line. Use the play fake. Now to throw. A shot toward the end zone. And it's a touchdown. It is also a play in which there is a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. The Hawkeyes have taken it inside the 20. To the air, it's McNamara. 
and to get rid of it quickly. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Finds his man, it's Johnson. They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. And this is why check downs are so big. There's a lot of quarterbacks in these types of situations on third down. They just want to make the home run highlight type throw. But a nice job being poised and making a good decision, checking it down to the running back here to help your offense out. The running back has it. And he could not get loose on the run. Defense is about firing off and hitting the offensive guys and staying in your gaps. Everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. He's looking to throw. Finds a tight end. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. I like the idea by the quarterback there. You're trying to get this first down, so you find the tight end, see if he can make a guy miss or shake a tackle. Not able to get it done. Third down has been right in the wheelhouse on this drive. They've already converted a couple of times, but they need the full 10 yards now. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the middle. And the DB right with him to knock it away. Really nice third down sub defense there at that time. It's third and long. They're expecting pass and they're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre-snap to post-snap to confuse the quarterback. And now forcing the incompletion setting up fourth. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. This will be a 50-yard field goal attempt, and he'll have to curl it in from the right side. Just drives it between the uprights. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg, 50-plus, and he did it with ease. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. Here he comes from inside his own five. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. That last drive was promising at times, but stalled out and they turned it over on downs, Jesse. I think we got to do a better job here, just being better early in the downs. On first down, finding positive play. Yeah, and it's frustrating when you move the football and get stopped on the other side of the field and get no points. But they've had some success, and I like the aggressiveness. They just got to cash some of these drives in. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He'll run it again. Into the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Dropping back, it's Rayola. Oh, picked off. Bringing it back. Touchdown, Hawkeyes! How about that D coming up with a play like that? And the free safety roaming the middle of the field. You can see just reading the quarterback's eyes. And how about the break on the football? Taking a great angle to pick it off and then do some damage and make the big play for this defense to score some points. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal.
They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. On the move from inside is five. And the returner will be knocked down. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. Well, the good news is they threw a touchdown pass last time. It was just to the wrong team, Jesse. Well, that's an unfortunate part of the game for quarterbacks. But guess what? They do have it. So you've got to be able to turn the page here and lead this offense. Well, I think you know this defense is going to be aggressive. They're going to jump routes. They're going to play aggressive. You've got to take advantage of that. Maybe use that this time to your advantage. After picking up a couple at second and eight. They'll run it from the gun. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Nebraska's had a lot of guys to feed over the years. Mike, Rozier, Roger, Craig, I am hip. But you don't know who's going to get it with this running attack. Yeah, but I do know this, Reese. Whoever gets it is going to run the football physically. And Nebraska's going to be very happy. Their fan base will be jacked if they establish the physical ground game because that's who they are. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football and create balance. And, and right here, just chews up another first down gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. And sometimes you got to know when to give it up, right? As a quarterback, you feel it. You can't hold it that second too long when bad things can really happen. And you could tell the clock went off, and he was throwing that puppy away. Here comes the offense on second down. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. If this were a wider field, like maybe in Canada or something, that might have been a turnover. And they could have turned it into a rouge, eh? I mean, this was a great chance by the defense here. I just love the fact that they are flying around and trying to dislodge the football from these ball carriers. On third and long, you'll need to push it downfield. And this defense goes back to back sack, Jack. On third and long, you know what's coming. It's exactly where you want to get an offense. The passing game has to come out. You go nickel, bring some more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack to force the fourth down. Cornhuskers will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Iowa has the ball back on offense. Man, how comforting is it to know that even if your offense stalls out a little, Jesse, that field goal kicker can knock it in from a long way out. Well, he's one of the best in the country, Reese, no doubt. But this offense would like him and prefer for him to kick an extra point on this drive. And to do that, David, they've got to have more rhythm on him. Yeah, create some more rhythm, create some more explosive plays, and maybe some more balance. And listen, it's nice to have that weapon and kick long field goals. If you kick too many field goals, you don't get very many Ws. Fast motion from the offense. Here comes the speed on the jet sweep. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Play it so hard because when they run jet sweeps, they don't always give them the football, and then you got to worry about other stuff. But great job focusing on your keys, seeing the jet sweep, pulling the trigger, going, and getting the speedster on the ground. To the air, it's McNamara. Oh, he's going to try to get it all here. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. And as an offense, you want to stay aggressive. You want to keep calling these downfield shots. I know you didn't complete that one, but you want to send a clear message. You're trying to take the top off this defense. You keep calling downfield shots. You soften up the coverage. You get those safeties playing deep. And that's going to open up your running game later on. Trying to get to it. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Well, this is a quarterback who's not known for his running ability, obviously. We've seen him make some great throws, but mobility, that's probably not on your bingo card. You saw it right there. He gets brought down for the sack.
And the Hawkeyes will punt it away on fourth down. Hand goes into the air for the fair catch, and the catch is made around the 40. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Well, there was really nowhere to go for the quarterback with that football. He's just trying to check it down to his running back, and the defense was there, and they made the play. And here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Quickly complete. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. And he runs a quick out route. And this is a timing route. Quarterback has to trust him, throw him the football. You can tell they've thrown this a time or two. Nice job, nice success. Here comes his home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Looking to pass, it's Rayola. Just flying through the air like a superhero to make the grab. Man, I love those guys that are willing to put their body on the line. And he does it right here, man. Just lays out. That ball's coming in. You can see it from several yards out, making that play, laying out, keeping the football from touching the turf. Great concentration, great effort by the receiver. This time, they'll go to the running game. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Well, there's a statement by the defensive line. First down play, expecting run, and they just dominated up front. Beat their one-on-ones and forced a tackle for a loss. After losing a couple on that last play, here's second and 12. He's looking to throw. It's caught, and he won't quite get there but boy after that pickup just a few inches to go for the first an array of possibilities here they're looking at a third down and short from the 33 looking to move the chains they throw it complete to the left Working their way closer and closer, a third down conversion, and they've got it at the 26. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it was a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. The Huskers have this offense rolling. He's looking to throw it. Unloads to the wideout. Makes the catch. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Nebraska. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. I'll tell you what, heat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're up 14 to 10. So that's a 59-yard touchdown drive. And they finish the deal with a 26-yard touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down, second down coming. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. Now second and 10. Wants to throw. It's McNamara. It's caught downfield. 
the quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. He unleashed that one. Some serious spin rates and revolutions on that one. <laughs> Want to talk about velocity? How about the arm talent this kid has? I love watching him throw these curl routes. He's in rhythm. He takes his steps. And, man, when he decides to pull the trigger, watch out. He'll come out throwing on first down. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Yeah, and he had an opportunity to make such a big play. Listen, he wasn't wide open with nobody around him, but you got to make that play. You got a little bit of space. You got to haul that in, make your quarterback look good, and make a big play for this offense. Just a short pass to the tight end. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long games. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. The Hawkeyes have it with a first and ten. He's going to pass. Fires to the middle. And they can't make the connection. I'll tell you what, you could tell the defense knew exactly what they were doing. They were dialed in, took away the primary target. And then it's on you as an offense. Now I got to adjust. I got to do something different to what they're doing. Second and ten here. He wants to throw it again. And that ball is picked off. Oh, he was hoping to make something out of that return, but they'll have it first down at the 39. What a big, game-changing play. I love when you see defensive players, they jump on the ball like they were the offensive guy. So aggressive, going and getting that pick, creating some big mojo for your team. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. Let's see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. They'll line up right at the 48-yard line on first and 10. Back to pass, it's Rayola. Throws to the wideout. A strike downfield. Touchdown, Huskers! And they take it in for six more points. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running. I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy. The connection between quarterback, wide receiver, you can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. They'll try to add another to their lead. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. They're lining up to boot it away. Fielded in the end zone, it's Johnson. He's brought down at the 16, would have been much better off to take the touchback. Iowa has the ball back on offense. This lead in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half. So find something really quick that you can go to. And so you got a guy who makes a play downfield like that. How anxious do you think they're going to be to continue in man coverage? Yeah, I don't know, Reese. They're going to need a plan. They're, they're going to maybe want to think about more zone coverage or maybe even bracketing this running back if he decides to come out of the backfield because right now they don't seem to have an answer for him. Looking left. 
And the physical play there forces the incompletion on first down. Line getting set on second down. Couldn't connect on first down, now back to the air. Fires to the big fella. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. A timeout is called as this offense tries to find a way to get more points on the board before the half. From the comfort of the pocket, he fires it to the right. And he gets a big chunk of yardage to the 34-yard line. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. Just enough time to get off one more snap. We've got a timeout in the waning seconds of the half. Maybe a chance to get off a couple more plays. And here comes the field goal unit for the second time tonight. He will need some oomph in this one. A 51-yard attempt and from the right side. It's good. He hit that one right down the middle. I know they're trailing going into the locker room here at halftime, but kicking that field goal gives them a little bit of a jolt, a little bit of a boost of momentum that they can carry with them into the second half. And there's a lot of football left to go here. I can't wait to see what happens. That late in the half field goal always gives you a little boost going to the locker room and they'll need to finish off these final few seconds and not allow them to answer. From inside the 10 yard line, he'll bring it back. And the coverage team able to make the tackle. First half in the books, time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And it'd be easy to say these two offenses are glad we've hit halftime based on their respective performances. It would also be accurate. Turnovers and sacks have told the story so far. And you've got to believe the play calling has been the issue, right? Time to shred those game plans and just get back to basics. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. And the Hawkeyes will line up to kick off and start the second half. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. They'll open the second half with a run. Able to pick up a couple before he's dragged down at the 19. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it. And now it's just going to be a passing game. To the air, it's McNamara. Fires to the wide out. He's got it. And he's brought down at the 40-yard line, and that'll be a first down. And you see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are, and they work with their quarterback, and they find them, and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone against such smart players nowadays. The handoff to Johnson. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Got three on first down at second and seven. They'll run play action. Looking deep down the right side. And the deep shot is complete inside the 35-yard line. Man, if 
I'm a defense, I gotta find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I gotta be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. The Hawkeyes come to the line in the hurry up. Off the play fake on first down. Looking for the score. Not in lockstep there with the receiver. I know one thing. The play didn't result in a good outcome, but I'm very impressed with the offensive line. Unbelievable job. Gave the quarterback plenty of time. Now let's see if they can adjust with the receivers running routes and maybe get somebody open. Second down coming up. A hand to the running back. They almost got a first down there. Stopped the yard short. It'll be third down. And a nice job by the running back finding space, getting downhill, making the good run. Great job finishing with his pads. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Muscling ahead on third and short. Tackled, but he has a first down. That is how it's done on third down and short. No doubt about it. An easy hole to get through and clearly get the first down. If you really want to simplify football, the low man wins. That time the offense got the better of the D. Easily pick that up. And the Hawkeyes will have it first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Let's it go to the end zone. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. And that's just a huge miss opportunity on offense. QB missed his guy wide open in the end zone. You might not get another clean look like that in the rest of this game. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Looking to throw, it's McNamara. Makes the grab. They'll mark him down at the two. The excellent execution on that throw and catch. Yeah, great job creating space. That's what you're supposed to do. When you get man coverage, you got to find a way to get a step, make it easy for your quarterback to read that leverage. And when he drags across the field, he can see he had him. He completes it for the first down. They'll throw on third and short. They're bringing heat. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. And this field goal team has been busy. This kicker comes out for the third time tonight. This is a short kick, but the problem is the angle. It is true as he puts three on the board. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. On the run from inside his own five. And the return man showing great vision to be able to find some space and put his team in much better field position. Leaves it with the running back. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. They'll give it to him again. And a nice solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Found enough room to get it into enemy territory. They're down at the 43-yard line. A 
They move the chains on the ground. Now another first down. The quarterback quick pass to the receiver. Nice move to pick up yardage. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. It's so important this offense is able to get this guy the ball in space, especially on the perimeter of the field. And I love that last play call because he's able to get outside and use his speed. To me, that's where this guy is most dangerous. Hand off from the shotgun. They'll get him on the ground after a pickup of three to the 28. Small game, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him honor the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. To throw, it's Rayola. Looking down the middle. He makes a catch. Makes a grab over the defense, and they are threatening now down at the 15. And a nice job working in the middle of the field. I think it's so important to keep defenses honest, and you can't just dink and dunk outside. You got to work the middle. Great job finding this wide receiver over the middle of the field. Now the crowd responding in the red zone, trying to help this defense. Quarterback keeps it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they're trying to go with the QB design run, but nice job defensively. They were not fooled by it. They were physical up front. Guys defeating blocks able to get that tackle for loss. The crowd getting behind this defense as they try to get a stop in the red zone. The give to the back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run, got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively, getting downhill, and getting in the backfield and making a tackle for us. Third down, and this crowd is tearing the lid off this place. He's looking downfield to throw. Just had to get rid of that one to save the yardage on third down. Nice job by the defense. They're mixing up their look. They're third and long in field goal range. They go zone coverage. So everybody on the back end has the eye on the quarterback, and they're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. And he'll kick for the three from 36 yards out in the right hatch. It's good. So they are lining up to kick it off after that last drive. Put a three spot on the board, and now the defense will try to shut him down. He'll return it. I know he thinks he can house every return, but sometimes you just have to take a knee as he stopped at the 14. They'll give it to the back. Pushes ahead for two. They'll mark it at the 17. The run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical enough. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Looking to throw, it's McNamara. And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. This defense, they are tenacious, and they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and then can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play-action attempt. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. They're trying to get to him. He's going to go down, and he's in his own end zone. It's going to be a safety. 
Oh, and how about this defense? Understanding where they are in the field, they got a chance to put points on the board, and they do. The kickoff team lined up. They'll have to give it back after giving up that safety. Free kick Free out of bounds. Kicking, kicking, kicking team. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. The give. Pretty good job of running to get two there to the 32. Sometimes you wonder if rivals really don't like each other. This guy sure doesn't like anybody on the other side. He's tackling everybody. And that's the kind of defender I want. The guys who don't like people. They love collisions. They love to throw their body around Jesse. He's been all over the field. And this guy's good week in, week out, right? Fires the pass. Intercepted. Taking it the other way. And just an outstanding return. Takes it back to the seven-yard line. And this safety is a ball hawk. He's a playmaker. Not only have we seen him get involved in the running game and make tackles playing downfield, but he plays the center field position as well as anybody in college football. You saw it right there. Well, this drive probably won't help them pile up yards, but they could get points quickly, starting it with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Knocked down after a gain of one. They'll mark it at the six. Now it's second in goal. Looking downfield, it's McNamara. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. That last incompletion is a good example of why your timing has to be so good as a quarterback because the windows, they open and they close so quickly in this part of the field. They love to make this short field pay off with a touchdown instead of a field goal, but it's third and goal. From the gun, wants to pass. Touchdown, Iowa! And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. Well, just as you would expect, that didn't take very long. It didn't, Reese. You've got to make great field position count. When you've got opportunities, you got to pay it off. The offense took advantage, scoring a touchdown. Didn't have far to go, but they got the points they needed. Lining up for the PAT. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. He wants to throw. He finds his man. They make the stop, but the sweet throwing catch is plenty to give him a first down. Nice job by the receiver there, running the drag route against zone coverage, finding the soft spot, making it easy on his quarterback to get the completion. He turns it upfield, and he moves the sticks. It'll be first and 10 from the 30. Looking to move it through the air. He'll off one deep down the left side. And they can't make the connection going for a big play on first down. Man, that's a couple bad throws. Last possession obviously ends in an interception by this quarterback. And now you throw another one, you know, in harm's way. You got to make sure you're throwing to the open guy. Make sure you're taking care of that football. We can't have any more turnovers. Right back to the air on second and ten. The sure hands, it's Fadone. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. 
you didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job, form tackle. Back to throw, it's Rayola. Caught, and he gets it to the 44-yard line. It'll be a first down. He might have expected to see this DB up in his receiver's kitchen instead. Nice little zone, and they pick up the first. Man, offenses are getting so good, Reese, at seeing the holes in the zone, knowing you're in zone, knowing where to sit down, how to make it an easy pitch and catch for the quarterback, and that's what it was on third and short. Jet sweep to the receiver, and this one will be stopped for no gain. Great job by the defense there, slowing down that jet sweep, and a big key was the defensive end containing the play, forcing the receiver to cut back inside to where all the traffic was. Inside a minute to go here in the third. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Man, the defense was in there in such a hurry. They didn't even let that draw develop. Got to him so quick. You know, the draw play has to look like a pass and not look like you're faking a pass. And I think there, uh, it was pretty evident they were trying to run the draw third and long try to convert through the air caught in the backfield it's banks and he's not going to make it the defense denying him the first down we've been treated to an aerial show by these two guys so far as you check out their numbers When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Boy, they had a chance to track that thing down, but it bounces into the end zone for a touchback. Iowa has the ball back on offense. This is a game of swings and momentum and a great opportunity here after scoring on the last drive, getting a stop, and now you have the football back. They're playing well right now in all three phases, and they're complementing each other. So now, David, it's up to the offense here. It's up to this quarterback to lead this offense down the field to get a score. Yeah, and to stay aggressive, to, to understand we've had success. We got this going the right way. Now I don't need to change anything. Go back to your go-to plays that's now got you some momentum back in your favor. And they wrap him up, but not before he gets enough on the catch for the first down. Well, it's a nice play design there. You're getting the running back involved in the pass game. Quarterback gives it to him early so he can go to work upfield and get the first down. It's first and 10 from the 31. They'll give it to Johnson. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Back to throw, it's McNamara. Zings it complete to the right. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. The Hawkeyes are on the move. Going up top on first down. Fires to the tight end. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Look, you can't take away everything, right? So you give them that and rally and make a solid tackle. Yeah, and a lot of times in zone coverage, I, I like when I can get all the eyes on the quarterback. I like when I can see the routes and see him develop in the middle. And you could tell they had keys on the tight end. He wasn't going anywhere after he caught that football. They'll leave it with him. Sweet feet on the move. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. And 
And the Hawkeyes will line it up on first and ten. They'll try the run. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards maybe, second and seven. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Got three on first down at second and seven. He'll do it himself. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Really nice job by the defense playing responsibility football, making sure the quarterback couldn't make any of his reads, making sure the picture is not clear, getting downhill, getting the quarterback on the ground. If they tried the field goal from here, it would be 53 yards. They'd love to help the kicker out on third down. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. And after the incompletion, I know there's a big urge right now to just go for it, right? It's fourth and short. We can seize this thing. I think you just got to do the smart thing. You need a field goal. You're only trailing by a bit. Do the smart thing. Take the point. Still a lot of football to go. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. Splits the upright. It's good. Fellas, we have a tie ball game here in the fourth. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut them out there and let them stroke it through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff as we are all tied up in the fourth quarter. The returner will field it and try to do some business. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And here comes the Nebraska offense back onto the field. Got his man downfield. Flying down the left side. The 10. Touchdown, Cornhuskers. They've got the lead here in the fourth. Well, Lil Red's probably turning into Big Red with pride right now with this performance he's turning in. And, man, he is in his bag. He's running it. He's throwing it. This defense is like habit of habit and what? Which way do I go? Who's got the football? He is setting this defense on fire. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The extra point is good, and now in the fourth, they're up by a touchdown and an extra point. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinators. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. And the returner will be brought down. Iowa has it back on offense, hoping to ride the wave to the end zone. You want to talk about having a weapon to bail out a drive? David, that's why kickers are so important after that long field goal. And listen, important is a relative term. We need to make longer passes and get better gains so we don't have to kick long field goals, Palmer, again on offense. And they've got the weapons to do that, David. They just got to be able to dial those plays up. Guys have to be able to make them one-on-one -on -one to make life easier on this kicker who is so important to this team. They run the reverse. That play just never had a chance. They knock him down for a loss of five. Great discipline by the backside of the defense. This is my gap. This is where I'm supposed to be. Ball goes away, so be it. I gotta stay home, stays home, makes a great play for a loss. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Grabbed in the middle, it's Lachey. A little more space, open up that playbook even more as they pick up the first down out to the 30. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown. That was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm, and what better way than converting on third down? Awesome job by the quarterback getting through his progression. 
the handoff to Johnson. Still running at the 40. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Every offense wants to be able to run the ball and be physical, especially on first down. And you want to create second and short, third and short, or just get first downs like that run right there. The Hawkeyes racing to the line in the hurry up. They're going to go right back to him on first down. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFL. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. The inside handoff. Hard running there. And look, this guy has some serious moves, and he tried all of them and still didn't get loose. They'll try to move the chains on this third and long from the 50. Looking for a man. It's McNamara. Fires toward the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. The offense has got to find something here in the fourth quarter. You can tell, pressing a little bit. They need that big play. They want that big play to try to make this game a better ball game. Took the shot. Unsuccessful, but I wouldn't be surprised if they take some more of those. And the Hawkeyes send out the punt unit. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. The Cornhuskers ready to go back to work on offense. And now that cushion is a little bit smaller, Jesse, and any mistake would get magnified. Yeah, a little bit of pressure now. And they got him for the sack. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes in offense, you're hoping the run fake's going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. Didn't make it any easier on themselves on first down. Now second along from the 21. Now they'll run the draw. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. Caught in the backfield, it's Nair. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. So he was forced to just take what the defense gave him, and they were able to stop him short of the first down. And when you're a defense, and you get third and long, and you know exactly where those sticks are, you set your feet at them, they throw it underneath, I go rally, make the tackle. Perfect third down and long execution by this defense. He'll try to feel the button, see if he can give his offense better field position. Tries to find a little bit of running room on that return, but he'll be stopped at the 36. Looking to go up top on first down. Fires to the tight end. And they pick up just a few on that completion. A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. And now on second down for this offense. From the gun, running back on the move. And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. You know, the tight end's going to have to do a better job of separating and giving his quarterback a place to go with the football. That time, just couldn't create it. And as a result, as soon as he made the catch, he was brought to the ground, setting up fourth down. 
makes the catch past the sticks. The Hawkeyes have a first down. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now, a fresh set of downs. Now they'll try to cash in this drive, first and 10 from the 50. Dropping back, it's McNamara. Finds his tight end. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. The big fellow, the tight end, the wide receiver in a tight end's body going up and making the catch. We've reached the two-minute warning, and the defense needs to come up with a stop to close this thing out. In search of that tying touchdown. They've moved the chains a couple of times. It's first and ten again. He's looking to throw it. And he can't find anyone open. And down he goes. A sack here late in the fourth. And you could easily argue the biggest reason this team is trailing here in the second half is because they have not been able to protect their quarterback tonight. They've already given up five sacks in the game. And you just saw another one right there. This offensive line has had problems all night long. Second down now after the sack. He's looking to throw. Release to the back. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. Third and long, defense knows the pass is coming, so they're going to have guys with their eyes on the QB, but they are going to try to get to him with pressure, pinning their ears back. If you're on offense, you might be thinking blitz here. You better get rid of this one quick. Now facing a third and long from the 50-yard line. Shoots it to the left. Complete downfield. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. Well, this offense is given a lesson right now on how to fight through adversity because first and second down was ugly. But they come up with that huge completion to now set up a manageable fourth down opportunity to keep this drive alive. On fourth down, they'll try to throw it. Makes the grab, and it's plenty for the first down. And they finally get him to the ground. An easy conversion for this offense. Defense not exactly the perfect fourth down call there. He got a hand on it, deflected it, but probably just got a bruise off that missile and gave up the completion. Yeah, not used to handling the revolutions on that football. QB zipped it in there. Nice job getting the deflection, getting your hand on the football. That's what you're supposed to do, find the football, but the offense got the break and got the completion. Long drive continues as the offense keeps working the ball down the field. Looking for a man, it's McNamara. Pocket starts to collapse. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. Passing situation, what do I want to do? I want to bring more guys that can cover guys on the outside. Nice job by this defense running the dime package. More DBs on the field to match up with all these speedy wide receivers. On third down, going up top. Pass is incomplete, and we dwindle down to seven seconds. What a fantastic job by the defense that time, forcing the incompletion. They've got the lead late, setting up fourth down. Can they come up with one more stop? If they get it, they might win this game. It's a one-score game late, and they've got to go for it on fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Unleashes to the end zone. And he muffs it. Can't hang on. Incomplete. Ball game over, and that one will give him nightmares. 